Last Friday, the radio systems went down between 911 dispatch and the police, fire, and ambulance. We still don't know why, and it could still happen again tomorrow. According to my staff and according to Motorola, there's been no real checking of the system, maintenance, so to speak, of that system to make sure that radio communications failed, there was a fallback. What I'm very troubled about, and my staff is gonna follow up with Motorola, they still don't know what the problem was. Now, we're up 100% right now, which is good news, but are we up to 100% because something was repaired? If so, what was that? All we're told is they couldn't figure the problem out, and I want to get to the bottom of it. Now, don't blame the city because this is one bill they are paying. In fact, they're paying for a backup emergency system that doesn't exist. People expect these services to be provided, and we expect that that uh, that services that the city's paid for from vendors, that those are provided as well, and we're going to hold people accountable to that. And if you don't get a good answer from Motorola, what about this new contract? We're going to get a new. We're going to get a good answer from Motorola, and this won't happen again. Have you heard anything like this in a major American city? I have not. I have not. But I assure you that as long as we have a contract with Motorola, it will not happen again. Now I called Motorola. Four people. They haven't returned my call. I'm going to keep calling, and you're going to answer, because this is 12 years after 9-11, and it's unacceptable. Unacceptable. Get mad, Detroit. When an officer needs help, shots fired, officer down, that's, when you don't have communications, that can't happen. Wait, we did get a call from Motorola. They said all questions should be referred to the police. And as you've heard, the police would like to know what's going on. The hell are we paying for, Motorola? Charlie Duff, Fox 2 News.